Hi everyone, welcome to the guide today. Um, we are going to talk about how to beat Darkness 5 uh, and specifically we are going to talk about infantry range type of darkness because um, typically everybody will agree that this is the toughest kind um, to beat in the game. So uh, before we start, uh, let's go through some of the uh, serious type of rallies that have a chance to beat Darkness 5 consistently. So um, when these are the kind of rallies we're talking about where uh, it's not a matter of gear, it's a matter of sending the right composition to the darkness because once you send the right counter, you are going to make it you will never be a case where you send the right troop and then you couldn't make it because of gear uh, unlikely the case so um, the first type is um, the typical all go but uh, it's not champ gear but it's the typical level 55 to 60 gear um, at the next level, we have the purple champ kind of a gear where the left side is all purple champ gear and the next upgrade will be the left side is all um, gold gear gold champ and of course the next upgrade will be over here where we have the left side all gold and usually the off hand is also gold the only thing that is not champ gold is uh, the accessories because they cost a lot to make and then of course at the most extreme end we have the maxed out kind of guy where everything is gold which including the 11k heroes so now we are going to go through a few better reports in order to uh, figure out how to do this uh, level 5 darkness infantry range. Uh, first thing you notice that this is only a 1.7 mil rally, far from a full rally. And this will be a typical troop count for darkness 5. So let me uh, fast forward a little bit. Okay, so now we are at the battle report. You can see that um, the, the plan was to send a full infantry hoping that the front line is uh, going to be ranged but, but usually that is not the case for a darkness like that most certainly uh, the infantry is going to be the front line so um but for most people they will still do this even if they know that the infantry is the front line because the theory is that um, the 1.8 archers here are not going to hurt me much whereas i have a full infantry army against their infantry army which is definitely not um, as big so um, in terms of absolute numbers um, we will win and hence we should win um, but however this is darkness 5 and the troop count is a lot more and uh, also they are, the bonuses they have is uh, way stronger than you so uh, if I just forward the video a little bit let me off the sound first you, you will see that yes we were fighting 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 and we will lose Okay, so th this we end it here. So um, we're looking at 41% when we lost. So this is a, a trashing. We're nowhere near. So this is not a matter of gear. This is a matter of uh, we are sending the wrong troop type. So what then is the right troop type to send? So now we are at another um, darkness. Same thing. This is also a infantry um, range kind of a darkness. Okay, so you can see the troop count over here. So this is um, infantry and range. Um, with some other things. In fact, it has some um, calf also, but basically it's still infantry range, more or less. So um, you can see that we are sending um, heroic fighters, and then we are sending uh, cavalry. So it's, the ratio is about 1 is to 2, so 1 uh, infantry versus 2 range. Um, so this is actually a win. So what is the theory here? The front line, we put um, the, the infantry go to go, to go first um, so the infantry's role is to really go in and match the infantry to tank for a while and at the same time also tanking the archer the archer shots so because uh, you know and then they can last for a bit longer so um, after that the, the the real killer is actually behind the cavalry so uh, while the infantry over here is tanking the infantry the calf can go inside and kill the infantry over here uh, while relatively untouched but this only works for a while because uh, you can notice that this loss number here is exactly double of the uh, half of the total size meaning when the first two squads of infantry died um, other squads will get targeted in this case unfortunately the cavalry was the next to be targeted but this is a more complicated thing i'll explain this next time so uh, let's let's watch the battle report uh, the actual battle you can see that uh, we put some archers over here that's killed immediately to buy time so uh, immediately the wall goes down 
and you can see that um, the what is in front is the infantry so infantry and my infantry is going to go in when uh, whereas the cavalry will be the one killing the infantry so you can see when they clash uh, immediately the, the morale starts dropping very quickly because the cavalry is attacking the infantry while the ranger is shooting my infantry at some point you will notice that um, my front line the first two squads will die it's going to happen soon right so somewhere around here this is where the first two squads of uh, infantry actually died and that's where uh, in this case they started to attack the cavalry so you can see that the, the, the morale drop was uh, is, is affected and we, and we barely made it but still we won so for the last report I'm going to show you uh, you will notice that this is the exact same um, infantry range level 5 darkness that I was sh showing in the first report you can see that this is the exact same uh, darkness and I use about the same number of troops also 1.7 mil so uh, in this case let's look at the battle report you can see that this is exactly the same one just now so um, in this case I sent the heroic fighters the infantry and you can see that um, they got entirely wiped out okay so after they died of course um, the next ones to be targeted was the calf and you can see if you look at the actual battle you see that I use the same trick there's some uh, cavalry hidden here uh, some archers hidden here oh no no archers okay so we, we go in straight away the wall goes down and you can see the infantry is in front and they are going to clash with the infantry okay so they're clashing so it's, it's the same theory actually just that without the cavalry just now in the second report so you can see that this is a, a huge win because um everything is being counted perfectly so you see when the heroic fighter squad died um, in this case I was lucky uh, because I think the everybody else was retargeting and they chose the infantry to retarget so in this case the infantry was still tanking all the way and the cavalry could do the killing all the way so it was a, a clear victory let me fast forward this a little bit you can see that it just a matter of uh, what they choose to attack made a big difference in this case it was a 20% win and this was 1.7 mil versus a 4 mil troop and still we won so um, in, in summary for a typical uh, infantry range kind of a DN um, the, the best tactic is really to send infantry to tank everybody while the real killing force is actually the calf behind so um so hope you learned something from this video so thank you and bye bye